Whew, man, it's cold out here. Oh, snap. Did you notice what time it is? What's up, everybody? Brian Clark here with my boy, Bauer. Coming to you from the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. It's time. It's time. VS Code has some new hotness dropping in this month's release, and I'm ready and excited to share with you the features in this month's release. It's been one year that we've been making these VS Code release highlights videos now, and I just want to take a brief moment to say thank you to all of you out there watching these videos, sharing feedback, and showing that support. We greatly appreciate it and hope you enjoy the videos moving forward. With that, let's jump into this month's release of Visual Studio Code's features right now. Wouldn't it be great to perform code reviews of your pull requests directly in VS Code? Well, guess what? You can with the GitHub pull request extension. The extension allows you to read PR details, check out code to test it, and leave comments and more from within VS Code. Give it a shot today and be sure to share any feedback you may have on it. Do you switch between operating systems often? VS Code can make remembering and converting your keyboard shortcuts for each one an easy task. With the OS-specific keybind options, you can add the WHEN clause to indicate which operating system the keybind is for. You could then share your keybindings.json file across instances of your VS Code running on various operating systems. We've seen import path completion in VS Code for JavaScript and TypeScript, but did you know you can do the same for CSS? VS Code will help in filling out the path completion for imports and URLs in your CSS. You can also control or command click through to the definition of each one. And that about does it for this month's release of Visual Studio Code. Thank you all so much for taking the time to view this and for all your support again from the past year. We hope to see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.